My name is Nick Gatfields. I'm Chairman and CEO of Sony Music Entertainment UK. Within Sony Music we have Columbia Records, RCA Records, uh, Epic Records and Psycho. Uh, and we also have a joint venture with Psycho TV. So we're also involved in making of X Factor and the Got Talent franchise. On the pop tip, we have One Direction, the biggest pop artist in the world at the moment. Uh, through to artists like Bob Dylan and Barbara Streisand, uh, great catalogue artists. Um, Kings of Leon, uh, Pink, Justin Timberlake, uh, our American company has Adele. I always wanted to do music, uh, so I started uh, piano lessons and finally clarinet lessons at around eight or nine years old. And I grew up in quite a musical household. And it's just something which I, I loved and had a passion for. And from a very early age, I was, that's where I'm going to go. I remember saying to the careers of us that I wanted to be in music and they just looked at me like I was mad. Um, and you know, I suppose the big lesson from school there is that you just keep following the path. If you're passionate about it, uh, and I was very single-minded, I was going to do that. When I came out of university, um, I, I came out there to join a band, basically. Um, as you imagine, my parents were thrilled at that prospect. Uh, and at that time, it wasn't a particularly successful band. I was then lucky enough to be in a successful band and had all that experience in there. And I had a, re a realisation, uh, and I suppose it's a very important part of where my career went, was that you know, most people in bands and most musicians, professional musicians, you know, unless you're absolutely right at the top of your field and you're a global artist, there is a life cycle of that. You know, you have a shelf life. And I was lucky enough at a fairly early age to go, you know what, this is not going to be forever. Um, and uh, that's when I decided to go into the business side of things, away from the performing side of things. There are a number of paths to get into the music industry. I mean, there are the, probably the more traditional sense through finance and through business affairs routes, but obviously that involves, you know, you, you need a law degree, you need a financial qualifications to be in those areas. Um, the, the, the creative roles in the business are the hardest ones to get into, obviously, because there's no natural path in there. Clearly, you write to HR, and I think it's very important to find out who are the key executives in the company that you are targeting. Who are the artists on the, who are signed to that company? You can find all this information out. It's very interesting, you know, I get an awful lot of inquiries come through, sent direct to me, and you know, the vast majority I will pass to my HR department, and you know, some of them with my recommendations and some where I don't recommend. The ones I don't recommend where you clearly someone A, hasn't thought to, A, what my name is, B, which artist, why you want to be part of this company. So it's really trying to find out the people who are really passionate and committed. If I was 21 years old right now, and I talk to my younger self, I'd say the best thing you could possibly do is try and find some funding, small, you're talking about a couple of thousand pounds. I know that's maybe tough for some people to pull together, but start your business yourself. Become an entrepreneur in the music space. I'm interested in people, A, who've got, who are entrepreneurial, who are out there doing this stuff, seeing, seeing talent, just starting the business without being paid a salary by me. And then I'm also interested in people who do have some experience in the creative industries at entry level and just said, you know, this is something which I feel strongly about and now I can apply something that what I've learned into your space. Randomly writing and trying to get in and applying for entry level jobs, of course you've got to go through that process. I mean, and, you know, my view is, 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 particularly for an entry level, it doesn't matter what the job is. You know, you may want to be an A&R person, but just come in at the sales level. Or you might want to be a marketing person. Just get inside the building. Kids who've grown up in the digital world are invaluable to me. You know, kids who've grown up on social media because it's such an important part of the way that we market music now. 90% of our focus is marketing direct to music fans now. And the classic example of that is, you know, I can look on the pop tip. You know, One Direction absolutely broke through social media because radio didn't particularly embrace it. It was social media. You know, we've just had a top five album in the States with Little Mix. No radio at all, entirely through social media. Traditional media now is about, it's what I call is about pull marketing. You want them to start pulling as opposed to you pushing. And digital experience and, and people who really understand how to communicate uh, through social media and understand the way that works is massively important now. Make yourself be heard and be noticed. Um, you know, 
don't keep your head down. I mean, the great thing about a music industry, it's a very flat organization. So, you know, I may be chairman and CEO, but that's not to say that I know everybody in this company and the most junior entry level member of staff can come to me with an act, can come to me with an idea. I'm absolutely fine with it. I mean, encourage that actually. And that's the great thing about it. So if you're smart and you've got a great idea, you will be heard. I can't think of any other industry, probably with the exception of the movie industry, where you know it's a human business. You're actually not selling bits of plastic or you're not selling digital downloads. You're actually you know trying to sell an artist and a human being. I can get incredibly passionate about all sorts of music because I enjoy the process of it. I don't care whether it happens to be the pop of One Direction or the rock of Kings of Leon. I can get incredibly passionate about the creative process involved in it and the journey that the artist goes on. Very few artists are motivated by fame and money. In fact, those artists that you generally tend to disappear. Most artists are, are motivated by creativity and I like being around those kind of people. The only artist that, that I'm interested in, it doesn't matter what sort of music you're making, you've got to make music which comes from you and it comes inside you. And either it's going to be commercially viable or it's not, but you know, you, you know, any artist who comes to me and says, I, I, you know, I can do loads of things, what do you want me to do? not interested in. I'm interested in artists who've got a single-minded vision. You know, it, it's much more about, I follow the artist's creativity and we provide a support service around them.